everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. This week I've got a fun technique. I have shared something similar ooh, some months ago now. It was probably the beginning of last year. And this is the glitter technique using double-sided sticky tape. So you can use double-sided strip, you know, sticky tape roll, or you can use the actual um, A4 sheets, which I'll share as well. So I'll show you both of those ways. This is using the Dovecraft Fairy Tales collection. And I've been making some wonderful projects with this and I thought I'm going to use the glitter pots. So you'll see them shortly. First of all, I'm preparing my paper. So this is a piece of four and three quarters by six and three quarters, because they're going to be to go to go with five by seven card bases. So what you'll see I'm doing here is using half inch tear tape I'm starting from the bottom and keeping it as straight as possible just start covering that that piece of cardstock so once you've covered the whole area make sure you go over and get all your air bubbles out I'm just using my bone folder here and you can see there all the sheets that I've got covering that now I've got some copy paper below stick it to that so then it just you know keeps everything in place so these are these lovely little um, jars of glitter that you get with the fairy tale collection so this is a little kind of tr um, lid that I've got just to one side with all the scraps in so it actually has become this really lovely kind of like a rose gold mix it's beautiful so I'm just counting my strips here because I want to start from the the center so what I'm going to do is this is the this is why I like using the double-sided tape because you've got control as to where you want to put your glitter so I'm peeling off one strip at a time so I peeled off that center one and I'm sprinkling in the lovely pink here it's a real nice rose rosy pink um, small amounts and then I'm just moving that around with my finger until I get that completely covered and then just kind of push all the the excess there to the end because I'll be putting that into that little pot then I'm going missing one and then revealing another strip and adding the pink again Again, each time just pushing it in and um, yeah, just making sure all of that sticky area is completely covered and you'll know that because you won't be able to feel any of it. So I've just skipped ahead there and covered everything that I wanted to be pink and now I'm bringing in the green. So I've just teared off two at a time this 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 time. It doesn't matter if the you know colours all mix and they go over, they're not going to stick anywhere else as long as you'd already covered it beforehand. So you can see there I'm just peeling off each one as I did with the pink and just going over there with this green and you get the green blue pink and silver now the very two last strips i'm using silver because i'd run out of pink so i'm just peeling off that one there on the left and then this one here on the right um, and then i'm finishing sorry the very ends were green the last two were silver because i had no pink that was right now this is when you start to really reveal what you've got underneath so obviously all your um, glitter on top would have all mixed just tipping the excess and as i brush it off you can see that it reveals your really, you know, lovely design. So it's really, really fun. You can do your tape any direction you like and um, you can die cut the sheets when I get to that bit and you can have, you know, different shapes as well. So it's entirely up to you. So I'm just cutting away all the sticky tape. I'm pretty much just keeping it that same size again. So four and three quarters by six and three quarters and just take off the back in there. And there you have a really nice background. So that's using the stripes and the double sided tape. Now this is using the sheet. So this is the A4 by Stick To Anything Company. I'll share all the links as always on my blog and I'm just sticking that same size piece of cardstock which is again is cut down to four and three quarters by six and three quarters. It's just a piece of card from my watercolour pad. Um, stick it down. You don't want to ruin it, you know, waste any excess. So you stick it right to the corner and then you can just cut as I'm doing here and then you can keep all that now for next time. So this whole piece now is one big sticker. So again, just as if it was the strips of the double sided tape, just going over that, making sure all the air bubbles are out. Reveal the backing sheet. And then you've got this whole area full of sticky to color. So this is now all of that mixed glitter. And um, like I said, it has, you'll see in the photos, cause it kind of looks a bit brownie, I guess, in the pictures here, but it really isn't. It's got a beautiful um, color to it. So I'm just going around and just covering the whole thing. So this is just a way of making really quick backgrounds. It's great if you have glitter and you don't have, there you go, you can see it there, it's just, oh, it's gorgeous. If you don't have any, you know, um, glittered cardstock, then this is a fun way to be able to create your own. So now onto the decorations. So I, and I actually got two backgrounds out of that excess glitter that I had. So this is the Dovecraft decoupage paper pack. I love these. If you've been following me for a while, you know I like the decoupage packs that Dovecraft do. And I've, I've shared many in the years with my channel. 
So I'm selecting this one here with the fairy. Now, if you haven't done decoupage before, I'd advise not to pop them all out like I am at once. But because I've done it a lot, I know that you start with the biggest and then you finish with the, the most detailed pieces. So those little butterflies there, they will be the last bit I, you know, stick down. So I've done this enough now, I kind of know. So I just like to remove them all um, and keep them in a pile together. And I'm selecting three toppers. So I've got one there that I've just done and then I'll select another two to go on those three backgrounds. Now, when you pull them out, sometimes you get little bits of the kind of um, card where it's attached. So I just use this nail file just to take off those ends really. So sometimes it's okay, you don't need to. Then I'm just gonna start building. So you start with your largest, which is that one on the far left. Then this one I've put the foam on is the second largest. And I'm just gonna pop a little bit of glue there just so they don't ever come off. And then you stick that on top and you're just, it's like a mirror really. You're just lining everything up perfectly with the image below. And then the next size, and again, just add in some foam. I have got the little squares, but they were somewhere else. So I'm just cutting down my pieces to size here. And again, remove the backing and just keep layering it up. And before you know it, you have a really nice topper. So again, if you're new to card making, new to paper craft, decoupage is a really fun way to kind of introduce yourself to paper craft. And, um, you know, it's quick, it's easy, and then you can kind of go from there, really. So you can see there how lovely that is with all the layers. So I'm just going to carry on and go through the other styles. So now they're all done, all ready to go, and I'm going to start building my cards. So I've got my three backgrounds, three toppers, and I'm pulling out these Dovecraft doilies. And I'm going to sit that behind there. And um, I think that looked really nice. And I ended up using a doily, I think, yeah, on every single one. <laughs> so now I'm bringing in the ribbon. This is from the same collections. So this is the fairy tales again ribbon. So this is a lovely green, like a, it's got green with tiny little butterflies in it. And I'm going to stick that over the bottom there. I think I end up going across the green strip. Yeah, just there. And I'm just going to add some glue. So I'm just kind of playing around at the minute, making sure that's how I want it. And then I end up going for this kind of same style for all of the cards. But I just wanted to show you how you can put that together. So again, just using some of my red tape here because it's super sticky. And um, although this didn't actually go onto the glitter because you were sticking fabric, I always find the red tape works best. And then I'm just sticking both ends there onto the back just so that's all kind of concealed and um, pull it nice and taut so you've got your ribbon along the bottom. And then just start sticking everything down. So I'm just using my Tombow glue here, just sticking in the middle of the doily. I didn't stick anywhere else because you don't need to. It's nice to have that little bit lifted actually. And then start bringing in everything else. So the topper goes on top. You could put more um, foam if you wanted to, if you wanted to lift it anymore, but because it's already quite raised, I thought I'd just stick it straight down. Then I've got the matching bows. Again, it's all from the same collection. This is all available on my Amazon storefront. And again, all those links and that will be shared below. Using some silicone glue here, it's just really quick and it sticks the fabric really well. So I've just stuck the bow down there. Stick everything then onto my five by seven card base and there's a card finished. Really, really beautiful and it's so shiny. It looks like it's got like a plastic coating over the whole thing, it's, it's really nice. And it's a really soft glitter as well, it's not coarse. So again, if you're wondering, it is, it's a lovely smooth glitter. So now onto the next one here. So I'm bringing in another doily from, that was from Papillon, I think, collection. Or was that, no, that is the fairy tales one, I think. I missed that. <laughs> anyway, it will all be shared. Again, building it up the same way that I've done the other cards. I love this topper. I think it's absolutely beautiful, that fairy and the butterflies. And then I've got the ribbon. This is another one. And this one says, I believe in fairies. So again, just wrapping that right along the bottom there. And then that whole piece will be stuck down onto the five by seven card base. It's really catching my camera there, but look at the shine. Beautiful. Card number two. Now onto card number three, and this is my last card. So again, very, very similar. I'm bringing in that square topper with again, the lovely little fairy and butterflies on it. And then again, I'm gonna pull in the ribbon along the bottom and then finish it off with a make a wish topper and bow, um, sorry, sentiment and bow, which is from the same decoupage kit. You get them at the bottom. You don't, you can st you actually put them with the topper itself. I like to sometimes keep them separate like I'm doing here. And I've just moved that obviously down to the bottom of the card. Again, add a little bit of glue because it's gonna be on that fabric and then line everything up together. And they're just really, really fun. Had a little bit of mess with the glitter and stuff, but I saved all that, even that there, I brushed off and put back into that little pot. And they again finished on my five by seven card base. And there's all of my very pretty, very sparkly cards. And you can see now as I bring them up closely, just the detail in those toppers, the shine. I mean, I love that pink and silver one. You see what I mean? It looks like it's got like a 
plastic coating over the top of the, the glitter because it's so smooth. That's just lovely using all of the colours. And then again, there's one using the scraps. So, you know, even your contaminated glitter, you know, when you've mixed it all together, creates beautiful backgrounds and I absolutely love them. And then now some stills, you can see them in more of their true colour. So this is in my light box, so this is a daylight. So it's um, it gives them, you know, the true colours that you get. And um, again, you can really see there, if you look closely now, you can see all those colours and it just, I don't know what colour it is, it's just lovely. <laughs> and the doily and everything just looks really nice. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope I've inspired you. I'll link in the other tutorial that I've got that's similar. And I'll be back again soon with another tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.